Hi everybody. Today I want to show you something for all you TV fanatics like me. Um, there's a there's a few YouTube users that have done this. Um, what I created is a low power pirated uh, pirated low power analog television station. Now I actually cr uh, created this back in late December, early January. Um, I just really never got around to making a video of it until now, of course. Um, so that right there is where all the magic happens. And um, actually, this uh, this device right here, this is a Channel Vision uh, video modulator. I just got this over the weekend. So used to, I broadcasted through here to amplifiers and then the go to the antenna through channel four. I do have some, I do have a diagram I want to show you. Okay, here is an illustration of what I did, how this is set up. So, this modulator can't, this right here is the modulator. It actually can output three channels, and these are the channels that I decided to use on it. Channel 16, 30, and 55 UHF. Um, so, what we have here, this is our converter box, and these are component, or composite cables. So they would use something like this, red, yellow, and white. So these go from the converter box. Stupid fan. I put that there. Just okay. So these go from the converter box down into the modulator, which converts the composite into RF. And um, from there, there is a coax out RF. This travels from from the converter or the modulator to three amplifiers here which you can pick up at your local Home Depot they're just signal boosting amplifiers which are wired backwards so let me bring a device over that so this is what it basically would look like instead of so this right here is where you stick the antenna in. This is where the antenna goes in. And of course it boosts the signal. And then this end goes into your television. Now, what you want to do... Hold on, let me think this for a second. I kind of forgot how this is wired. So what you want to do... So... You want to hook your converter box into here, just example. So this can so the coax from the converter box out goes into here, and then this goes into another amplifier, and then from there it goes so this will go into the antenna input on the other adapter or amplifier and then this then the signal will come out through here and then this will go into the another amplifier and then which will connect here and then this will go to your antenna and that's what we have here. So we got coax cable coming out from the modulator to amplifier number one that goes in this wire right here from the, the modulator to the first amplifier goes into this port. And then from there, it, the wire travels through this port, this cable which connects to the other coax input on the next modulator and then you got the you got this coming out of the next amplifier into the coax input 
which is this, to the another amplifier, and then it goes up to your antenna, and then it transmits down to the receivers, the televisions. And excuse my drawing, it's not the best, nor my handwriting. And that's pretty ha much how it works. So let's go ahead and demonstrate the. Let's go ahead and go through the channels. This is my Magnavox. Uh, Magnavox. It's actually made by Funai. This is a 13 inch color CRT television DVD player combo. So this is channel 16. Um, I don't know if I said it or not. This amplifier I have can output three channels at once. I'm going to get a closer look at that. So you got channel A, B, and C. Channel A is channel 30, which you're seeing right now. Channel B is 55, and channel C is 16. The reason why I picked these channels is because they put out the best signal quality, from what I can tell. So what you're looking at is channel 16, and we have a uh, we have my karaoke machine right here. That's what's broadcasting through that. And we'll go in the next channel is channel 30. And that is the converter box. Let me go ahead and turn that down so we don't get a copyright strike. So that's coming from the converter box. That is the converter box channel. Okay, channel 55 is a old VHS camera. Currently it's displaying color bars. which is this camera right here. Okay, let's go ahead and demonstrate what it would look like on a television set that has the old fashioned rotary tuners. So this is channel 55 and the camera is going to blank it out so bear with me, the camera and the CRT don't like each other. So, that's channel 30. Well, there we go. The knob very touchy. Okay, that's channel 30. Let's change the channel before we get a copyright strike. Okay, and that's channel 16. And there's some weirdo on the screen. Hi. Hi, everybody. I don't know who that guy is, but he's weird. Um, so this is channel 16, which is coming out of this karaoke machine. And I'll do a video of these TVs. I'll do a dedicated video of these TVs eventually. And you can see the camera is blanking the screen out. It's not doing that in person. It's nice and it's a solid image on my eyes. It's just the way these CMOS cameras work because they don't have the CCD cameras anymore. So that's channel 30, and then channel 55. Come on, there we go. And then here we have my GE Space Maker on my nightstand by my bed. It's a five inch color portable CRT television. We'll go through the channels on this. See, it has electronic tuning, but no let no numbers. The numbers correspond down here. So this is channel 16. As you can see, channel 16. Channel 13 or channel 30. Channel 55. Our color bars. 
So that is pretty much it on my uh, <clears throat> setup. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.